natural habitat oh. now in the kitchen. Do you know? I mean, I know what you're making because it's in front of me. It's we make huge. This is enormous. We're making a calzone there, and uh, uh, it's one of those things that usually you have with two people. Uh, you know what's happening in the restaurant. Uh, Sometimes okay. they come in and it's a kind of a sharing thing sharing at the end of the night. Yes, sharing is caring. Yeah. Okay, how do we start? We start with a normal oh pizza my dough. God. I'm making some, a pizza dough that is faster. Faster it means it's not going to take six to eight hours like a Neapolitan dough when you make a pizza. Like to prove, you mean? Yes, to prove. Oh my God, so this something is quicker. So you get your uh, uh, plain flour. We usually, when you want to make a fast dough pizza, we use uh, a dried yeast. Mm -hmm. The fast action dry yeast goes in there. Then we put a little pinch of salt, it's important. But could you make normal pizzas with this dough? 100%. Mm. Yeah, but it's not like the Neapolitan one when it's fluffy around. When you make a quick dough, it usually tends to be heavier. Right. OK, yeah. because you don't give it the time for the, for the air rice. to go into the dough. Then you put the oil, the water. We all know how to make a pizza dough. OK? Yep. You got an, a little hazelnut there. OK. <laughs> so once you made the dough... Thank you. A little hazelnut there. Once <laughs> you made the later. dough, let's pretend that I made the dough. You yeah. need it for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. The secret is this. So divide the dough in half. Mm. Prepare two trays with oil, OK? Brush a little bit of olive oil. Put one dough into, onto one tray, one dough onto the other tray. Yeah. Cover with clean film. Half an hour, an hour That's will it. do the job because it's a uh, fast uh, yeast, Fruit. OK? Once you've done that, Look then the air you're... Bubble. Yes, the air bubble is great. Well, you're going to end up with this. So take the clean film off. And then what's happened? The reason why I do the oil tray, because then the, you don't have to lift it up, flour on the chopping board, you know, on your table. You make less it's dirt. Very mm. clever. You just make less dirt. And then what do you have to do? A lot of people, they break the dough when they move it. Yeah. OK, when they stretch it. it. Yeah. So the way to do it, so gently with your fingertip, yeah, you stretch the dough. You got the oil underneath, so don't worry. It's body, slipping, uh, slipping over the pan, isn't it? So it's slipping, slipping yes, out. Yes, just allow slowly, slowly to stretch. You can get your kids to do it. But if you make that dough in advance, don't put it in the fridge, because if it's cold dough... I've learned this, because I've actually been making pizzas. It keeps coming back. Yes. It goes tight. It, it gets tight again. So yeah. when, whenever you work with a dough, you need to work it that is a room, room temperature. temperature. Yeah. Never, because otherwise it becomes too elastic. Yep. Now, once you've done that, I just want to say that previously what I've done, I got uh, some chocolate spread. Mm -hmm. You can buy in the jar. I put it in, the, uh, um, in a saucepan yeah. with a little bit of cold milk. Mm. You mix it together, you warm it up, and then you cool it down. Mm. Yep. That's the only thing. Mm. And you end, you end up like this, a double cream consistency. Easy. OK, so once you go that, see these holes here that sometimes happens? Just pinch them. Don't panic that everything is broken because it's easy to fold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then what you do, you pick up your chocolate and you put on a half of the calzone, just half of it, because we're going to fold the other one. Yeah. Yeah, I made this one with strawberry jam. I made this one with uh, marmalade. I made this one with so many things that more or less the same texture. Honey. Of a double cream with honey. It's you can so, do whatever you, what you want. The, a banana with chocolate it's is just really... so gorgeous. Uh, uh, and also because mm. if you think about it, banana, chocolate, you are... You get into the idea of the uh, waffle. Mm. Right, when you get a waffle mm. and, and you get the banana. It's a classic combo. It's a classic uh, combination. You cannot go wrong. I get the banana, just slice it up. I'll do it diagonally because I think it works fancy. well. Nah, not really, because it goes on the, on the, in there. You know what? You get more coverage oh. when you do the Aradoas. It's so, so many small uh, little pieces. So you put it there, like this. Then, now, at this point, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can put a bit of honey on top. You can use oh, different think. nuts instead of basil nuts. You want to use almonds. Uh, instead of chocolate, you can use whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can make a, uh, a nice uh, white cream, vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fine. As long as you got the consistency of a chocolate spread, that mm -hmm. is important. Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, guys, very simple. I've got a little bit of mascarpone. You could use clotted cream if you wanted to. You can use that because I tried and it works. Mascarpone, clotted cream, more or less the same texture. What I do, I do a little uh, um, dollop. 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 Dollop of things, OK, of mascarpone. Mm -hmm. As I said, you can do with that. And then you just have to fold it up. Now. So very easily. You fold it up like this, and you make a little rope bed. effect. You said it before, like a uh, Cornish pasty. Pasty, pasty. Mm. OK? So what is the Cornish pasty? You just make a rope effect. See what I'm doing with my finger? That's the same, isn't it? Mm. Well, I think, so. I think it's the same way that they do it. 
Um, so you just do that. Now, once you are at this stage, the cool thing about this is recipe... Is that how you'd make a calzone? Is that the same cream? Yes. Yes, more or less the same mm. cream. There are people who make bigger cream or flatter cream, but it's a rope effect. Either right? rope or... That. Yeah, or the other one that you go in there, like you make it for... Uh, pie. Uh, yeah, usually it's for pies. The, pie, yeah. mm. the problem is, uh, uh, Philip, if you're making something that you know the feeling is dangerous, i.e. that it can ooze out, yeah. mm. the rope effect yeah. it will be it's better it, than yeah. the pie. It will hold it better. Now, guys, once you are at this stage, the cool thing about this recipe, you could put this back in the fridge. So let's say that you, your children are coming in a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. You can do that early. Mm -hmm. Cover it uh, with clean film, put it in the fridge. Then when you want to do it, bring it back at room temperature. Before you can... Because it. otherwise it's going to be very tense, the dough. Yeah. And then 240... The ab Look, the oven is the highest you can go. If your oven goes to 240, brilliant. If it goes to 220, va, va bene, va benissimo. I'm talking in Italian. It's OK, OK? <laughs> but 220 to 240, if you can. Yeah. Good ventilation in the oven. Has to be preheated for a good 10 minutes. Yeah, make okay? sure. OK, because you want it very hot. hot this hot, one, hot. Holly, will take, and How Philip long? will take about 15 to 16 minutes okay. to do it. Mm -hmm. Once it's mm -hmm. done, you end it up with this one. And, guys, the only way to decorate this is um, a bit of cream, a little drizzle of uh, 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 chocolate on top like that, and then you, the same way that I did it for you. It is I lovely. use it's with really vanilla lovely. ice cream, but you don't really have to. The only suggestion, don't use a chocolate ice cream, because otherwise you're going to be chocolate on top of chocolate, and it doesn't really work. You want mm. a, um, a different kind of flavour. What are you making? What are I'm you making, making a Negroni, which has got to be one of the easiest cocktails, because it's three ingredients and it's a third, a third, a third. And so. pretty punchy. I it is quite punchy. That is my favourite drink, by the way. One of my favourite drinks. I'll tell you why. It's, it's, one, it's one of those drinks that if you come late to a party, mm -hmm. so they already start in about an hour, mm. and you want to catch up <laughs> with the level of uh, uh, alcohol, one? if you know what I mean. That one. Right? This is the drink okay. to have. Which one? That one. This is mine. What have I done? Have I done this wrong? No, no, no. I really love the fact that you put a big, big bowl of ice, ah, because that's that what it should be. Cheers. Salute. Salute. And I have to say, cheers, 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 after salute. three months of a summer, is a pleasure, pleasure to see you guys. And it's you pleasure. It's, it's just been so cool today. Check we haven't my... finished yet. No, we haven't. No, but check my Negroni. Let me see. That's lovely. What have you done to his? <sighs> it's a good one. Yeah. But there you it's go. a good one. <laughs> no it's pressure. a very good one. Good Gino, Negroni. Thank you uh, for all of the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from us this morning. Chefs, head to the Free This Morning app.